Hi friends, I am super excited on this project. Do it yourself, Just Add Magic cookbook cover. My daughter is a big fan of Just Add Magic, so I changed one of her cookbook cover as Just Add Magic cookbook cover. I used black gesso, clear gesso and a stencil and some copper powder and a gold paint. I actually apply, mixed clear gesso with uh, black gesso and I added a little copper powder and I used my palette to nicely spread it off. Uh, but then I didn't get the uh, real brown color so actually I added a brown acrylic paint and I mixed it. I then applied the gesso on my book, uh, uh, book completely on top of the book. And uh, once I had done with that, I actually took a copper powder and then again black ac uh, uh, brown acrylic paint and I mixed it and I just used a sponge, very dry technique and I applied on it. It gave an uh, effect of an old uh, journal book effect and later I used a black acrylic and I applied it all over on the book to give an old uh, book effect. Uh, this gave a nice uh, rustic feeling to the old book effect and uh, I applied even applied it on the sides and uh, of the book to make it really look uh, old and not a printed version book. I had a very uh, old Barbie stencil which I got for some uh, toy I don't remember actually. Uh, I used that uh, uh, it matched that uh, Just Add Magic cover book uh, uh, spiral effect so I applied black gesso on it. So what we are doing, why I am doing this is to give a texture on the book and, uh, and I applied on uh, the same, I used the same stencil. I applied on the, all the four sides of the book. Uh, only thing I did was like some side when I wanted to do it, I reversed the sense tensor so that I can give get that reversed effect of the book and I used reversed it and I applied it over there. I added on the sides to the remaining gesso to give a binder effect because it was a very old book to give that leather bound effect I added a black gesso over there. Then I used a gold paint and I gave a border. I just used a Just Add Magic Cookbook uh, reference pick which I had in my uh, computer. I used it as a reference to draw the uh, details. Uh, then came our kitchen utensils. I used a spoon, fork and a craft knife. I used a gold paint, gold acrylic paint and I sprayed on them. And I actually used uh, 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 my heavy glue to uh, paste it on top of it. One change I made was from the book is uh, the knife comes on top of the fork and spoon. But since I didn't want the knife to be pointy and uh, anywhere, I first pasted the knife and then the fork and then the spoon. And also the spoon had a real uh, nice uh, design on top of it. So I thought maybe spoon should be on top. So I, I re-changed, uh, arranged it, not exactly according to the book. Uh, my daughter wrote a uh, few things from the book and she did some doodling uh, for the cookbook and she actually even uh, drew some pictures of the roots and other things. 
which I glued it on uh, uh, on the book. Uh, I glued it outside so that you can see, feel that uh, there are pages are torn pages and it has been added then and there. Uh, so I added it on the sides of the book uh, to give that uh, feeling. I actually uh, drew rose picture. It is my own uh, pencil sketch which I used it. And uh, after once I was like uh, happy with it, I was like uh, really uh, very happy with the end result, how the book turned into it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Like us, share and subscribe to our channel.